that. Do you feel that the Scottish Government is supporting workers enough? Well, I think, obviously, we would say no, not enough. Um, we've uh, released figures today to show that um, of the £2 billion that workers have managed to gain uh, as a result of um, negotiations this year, more than half of that wouldn't have been gained if it wasn't for the fact they were prepared to take or, in many cases, took industrial action. So, yeah, we will always be able to be saying to government there's more that it can do, and that's the same for the First Minister as for any other um, party. But at the end of the day, we have to represent those half a million members to whoever, whomever in government and we deal with. Where do you think the public are now on strike action? Do you think, do you think there's still support for it, given that, it's, that there's been so much strike action over the last year, it's gone on for so long? I mean, every indication is that there is, um, and that's because largely many, many of the general public, the large majority of the general public, uh, are also workers, also uh, involved in a cost of uh, living crisis, and understand very clearly that the, talks, the, the type of rebalancing I've just indicated, over a billion pounds extra into workers' pockets, only happens when people take industrial action, even if that causes difficulty. So I'm very confident that we retain uh, the support of the majority of the public. Even even if cost, the cost of living goes down, we're hearing that energy prices are going to go down by the summer, that inflation is expected to fall quite dramatically this year. Well, of course, when inflation drops, what that doesn't mean is that the previous price rises it brought about disappear. So if somebody is 10% poorer off as a consequence of inflation this year, that doesn't get magicked away just because um, inflation begins to fall. Now, obviously, all of the wage demands, the ones that are current and the ones that are ongoing, will in some way relate to the level of inflation and the overall uh, prosperity um, of workers. But this cost of living crisis has not gone away, and we don't think it's going to go away for um, a significant period um, to come. I know that 